Hey there all beer lovers. Thank you very much for joining me for this beer review. Time to take that old trip, guys. We're heading towards Sweden for this one to a, a new brewery to me anyways, or a pretty new anyways. I have reviewed uh, two beers from these guys now. We are returning to the region of Stockholm, to Lidingö, and to Keen Brewing once again. We'll take a look at their Oktoberfest. Uh, this one weighs in at 5.5% ABV, 440 mil can. And they say back here, uh, we are a small independent family-run microbrewery located in Ledinger. We experiment with different ingredients and flavors to produce a locally handcrafted beer of highest quality. There you go. And a little bit about uh, the lager, the autumn uh, or Oktoberfest lager. And there's a look at the artwork. Pretty nice looking. There you go. Keen brewing. So with that said, let's pop the top, see what we get. All right. So there we go. Nice smoke there on the can opening. So this is my third beer from Keen Brewing. So, so far I have tried... Uh, traditional beers from these guys. This this is a microbrewery, but so but they're doing a lot of traditional stuff. Uh, I had the uh, their red ale, which was called Heimdall, and I also had their um, I think it was just a pub ale, Mimir it was called. And now we're taking a look at their Oktoberfest beer. What do we have then? We got ourselves a finger's worth of a white head. A uh, hazy number. It is a lager, of course, but it's a hazy not hazy one. Yeah, looking good. A little bit dark, honey golden color to it. On to the nose, then. Yeah, big malty, bready notes on it right away. Yeah, a little bit of dough with a citrus. Okay, with that said, let's dive in and see what we have. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Big bready notes, really long lingering bready aftertaste. Really long lingering. Some uh, doughy hints as well. Bit of sweetness thrown into the mix. Pretty good body overall. Again, let's go for another sip. Mm. Yeah, it's got a good drinkability factor to it. Lovely bready notes. A little bit of dough, malty, lots of malt. Well, a slight, slight bitter aftertaste. But I mean, I would say this is a very, very uh, malt-dominated beer. But if that's your thing, you will definitely love this one. So for me, that's basically what I can say. Uh, Keen Brewing there and their Oktoberfest, 5.5%. It's a good kind of robust German-style lager. A lot of bread, a lot of dough. Bit sweet with a faint uh, bitter hint at the back end. Very drinkable. For me, 3.75 out of 5. Thanks for watching.